This tunnel in the middle of Barcelona is one of the coolest climbing spots I've ever been to. It is called La Fosharda and it is free and open to the public. I've never seen climbing holes like this before. There's giant stalactites, there's a syringe, a giant syringe right there. The craziest, most artistic climbing routes I've ever seen, honestly. This is so cool. How, how did the holds feel? A little like greasy, but a little with greasy. some chalk it'll be a okay. Greasy. That's you know, to be expected. To be. Oh yeah, that's, that's polished marble right there. Vivian and I have been spending the last few weeks traveling around Catalonia, checking out some of the most famous outdoor rock climbing spots in the world. But this dingy urban tunnel actually ended up being the most memorable climbing experience from our time here. To start though, I think I'm gonna do this route that goes right up the corner here. So to the best of my knowledge, this guy, Manuel Sanchez, Manolo as they call him, he was pretty much responsible for building all of this. Like kind of just out of his own generosity. I think he started it as kind of this illegal thing and then it got turned into this legal climbing area, designated climbing area. I just think it's so cool that this one guy set out to create a free public climbing space. And I think the reason that I'm making this video is not to blow up this spot and tell everyone to go visit, but more to highlight a really cool example of how urban spaces can be transformed into public climbing areas. Something that I personally would love to see replicated all around the world. And who knows, maybe I would even want to take on a project like this one day. So after warming up on a few shorter routes, we were ready to try the most unique route here. A 6B plus called Borbonia. There is not a single normal looking climbing hold on this entire route. Each hold is more of a work of art. And while I'm not exactly sure what, there is definitely some sort of underlying message and story being told here. A climbing route as a form of artistic storytelling. Now that's pretty cool. Syringe. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, oh. That spins. Let's clip in here. <laughs> See that? Borbonia was so long and pumpy. Each hold was so good, it would have been pretty hard to slip off, but just spending that much time on overhanging terrain gets so tiring. But because of how three-dimensional these sculpture holds are, I was finding ways of resting that I had never used before. Well, this is what you call a rest. <laughs> this wonky style of climbing really reminded me of climbing overhanging strangler figs back home in Costa Rica, where most of the holds are pretty good, 
but the overhang and the endurance factor is what makes it challenging. There was actually a moment when I thought I wasn't going to make it. Oh, fuck. But then I just found one of those wonky three-dimensional rests again, and I was able to make the clip. And then finish the rest of the route. These holes are so good, but I'm so pumped. Yeah, you can take that. <laughs> <sighs> what a route. Oh my god. <sighs>